Hello viewers, welcome back to DMG Chemistry Classes and myself Dr. Mahindra Gleria, Associate Professor in Chemistry. And in this video, I am going to derive a mathematic, mathematical expression for the Lambert's Law. So in my previous video, I discussed the Lambert's Law in detail. And according to this law, when a beam of monochromatic radiations is passed through a homogeneous absorbing medium, then the intensity of the radiation decreases with the thickness of the absorbing medium. Okay? And if the thickness of the medium is larger, then the decrease in the intensity of the radiations will be more. Understood? And it also states that the rate of decrease of intensity with the thickness of the absorbing medium is proportional to the intensity of incident radiations. This means that if the intensity of incident radiations is more, then the decrease in the intensity with the thickness of the absorbing medium will occur at a faster rate. Okay? And if the intensity of the incident radiation is less than the decrease in the intensity of the radiations with the thickness of the medium will occur at a slower rate. Understood? So in this way, the rate of decrease of intensity with the thickness of the absorbing medium is proportional to the intensity of incident light. Now let us derive the mathematical expression for the Lambert's law. Okay, but before that, if you have not subscribed my channel, then please do subscribe and also like and share my videos. Okay, friends. So to derive the mathematical expression for the Lambert's law, uh, we have again considered a homogeneous absorbing medium. Okay, and this is the homogeneous absorbing medium. And I0 is the intensity of the incident radiations. That is, it is the intensity of the radiations before entering into the absorbing medium. Okay, and after passing distance x through this absorbing medium, the intensity of radiations decreases to a value i. Okay, that what, is, uh, what is i? i is the intensity of radiations after traveling through the distance x through the absorbing medium. Okay, and after distance x, we have considered a very small thickness dx. Okay, and after passing through this small thickness dx, the intensity of radiations decreases by a very small amount di. Okay, and here I have placed the negative sign in front of uh, di, which indicates that the intensity of the radiation is decreasing. Understood. Now, the rate of decrease of the intensity of the radiations with the thickness of the absorbing medium will be equal to minus di upon dx. Okay, what is the uh, rate of decrease of intensity? The rate is the decrease in the intensity of the radiations per unit thickness of the medium. Let us explain that for the dx uh, centimeter. Okay, if the thickness is uh, dx centimeter, then the decrease in the intensity is minus di. Okay, and for one centimeter, the thickness, uh, sorry, the decrease in the intensity will be minus di upon dx. Okay, so in this way, this uh, minus di upon dx is the decrease in intensity per unit thickness of the absorbing medium. Unit thickness mean to say one centimeter. So, the rate of decrease of intensity is equal to minus di upon dx. And according to Lambert's law, the decrease in intensity is proportional to the intensity of incident radiations. Understood? For this thickness, for this thickness, the intensity of incident radiation will be equal to i, not equal to i0. Why? Because before entering into this thickness, the intensity of the radiation is I. Understood? So for this thickness, the intensity of incident radiations will be equal to I. So that's why minus di upon dx is proportional to I. According to Lambert's Beer law, the rate of decrease is proportional to the intensity of incident radiations. So let this is equation number one. And this equation will be further written as minus di upon dx is equal to ki, where k is a proportionality constant and it is also called as absorption coefficient. 
understood and let this is equation number 2 and after rearranging the equation number 2 will become di upon i is equal to minus k dx understood so when x is equal to 0 then i is equal to i naught when x is equal to 0 that is we have not entered into the absorbing medium then the intensity is equal to i naught intensity of incident radiations and when x is equal to x that is when x is equal to x then i is equal to i understood so then uh, now what will uh, we will do we will integrate this equation number 3 between these limits and limits for the thickness will be x uh, from 0 to x and i from i naught to i okay and uh, after in, uh, integrating the, uh, this equation number 3 in this way we will have natural log of i because the integration of di upon i is natural log, uh, uh, natural log of i and i naught is the lower limit and i is the upper limit and we know that the differential and integral it they cancel each other and integration of the dx will be equal to x and limits are 0 to x and it will be further written as natural log of i minus natural log of i naught that is upper limit minus lower limit equal to minus k into x minus 0 okay and here this natural log of i minus natural log of i naught will be equal to natural log of i upon i naught understood and it will be equal to minus kx because log of m minus log n is equal to log m divided by n and let this is equation number uh, 3 I think okay and uh, this equation will be further written as i is equal to i naught into e raised to power minus kx okay and let this is equation number 4 and this uh, equation number 4 is very important this equation number 4 tells us that how the intensity of the uh, incident radiations reduces to value i after traveling through the uh, thickness x of the medium understood or we can say that with the help of this uh, equation we can calculate the intensity of radiation after traveling through the distance x through the absorbing medium okay and this equation also tells us that the decrease in the intensity of the radiation with the thickness of the uh, uh, medium uh, with the thickness of the absorbing medium is exponential okay so uh, exponential decay will be re represented graphically as so let us uh, represent the exponential decay so along y axis we will have intensity and along x axis we will have thickness of the absorbing medium and when the thickness is equal to 0 that is x is equal to 0 then the intensity will have the value equal to i naught okay and when the thickness will increase or when the radiation will pass through the absorbing medium then the intensity of the radiation will decrease and that decrease is exponential and the graph will be like this understood so this graph represents the exponential decay of the intensity of the radiations with the thickness of the absorbing medium okay and when the uh, thickness is this then the intensity will be this or and when thickness is this then the intensity will be this and this graph is indicating that with the increase in thickness the intensity is decreasing and the decay is exponential okay and uh, what about the intensity of absorbed light so the intensity of absorbed light intensity of absorbed light will be equal to i naught minus i i naught minus i because 
the intensity of the incident radiations is equal to I naught and intensity after traveling a distance x is I okay that is uh, we are left with intensity I after passing through distance x then what is the intensity of the light absorbed so intensity of light absorbed will be equal to I naught minus I and from this equation value of I is equal to this so let this is equation number 5 and substitute the value of uh, I in this uh, from equation number 4 into 5 then we have I is the sorry I absorbed is equal to I naught minus I naught into E raised to power minus kx okay and I absorbed will be equal to I naught into 1 minus e raised to power minus kx so let this is equation number 6 and this equation gives us the intensity of absorbed radiations okay and if the total thickness of the medium is equal to x suppose that total thickness here we have considered that this is the total thickness of the medium understood that if the total thickness of the medium will be equal to x then what will be i then I will be the intensity of transmitted radiations okay because then this I will be the uh, intensity of the transmitted radiation if the total length is equal to x understood now this equation number 3 can be written in another form okay it can be written uh, like that is 2.303 log of i upon i naught now what i have done here i have converted the natural log into the log base to the 10 so 2.303 log of i upon i naught and it will be equal to minus kx okay and from this equation we have log of i upon i naught it is equal to minus k upon 2.303 uh, into x and let this is equation number 7 understood and it will be equal to log of i upon i naught equal to minus k prime into x where k prime is another constant and its value is equal to k upon 2.303 that this is the equation number 8 understood and from this equation we have i upon i naught is equal to 10 raised to power minus k prime x and i will be equal to i naught into 10 raised to power minus kx so here we have another expression for the intensity i of the radiations understood and let this is equation number 9 and this expression as I said that this k prime which is equal to k upon 2.303 is another constant and this constant is called as extinction coefficient is called as extinction coefficient or absorptivity of absorbing medium understood so this constant k prime is called as extinction coefficient or the absorptivity of the absorbing medium so what is the physical significance of this k prime so physical significance of of k prime okay so let us uh, from this equation number 8 we will have that is k prime is equal to minus 1 upon x log of i upon i naught okay 
and this equation will be further written as k prime is equal to 1 upon x log of i naught upon i understood what i have done i have inverted this term here i have reciprocated it uh, reciprocated it okay then this uh, negative sign will become positive so k prime will be equal to 1 upon x log of i naught upon i and k prime will be equal to 1 upon x if log of i naught upon i is equal to 1 and if this quantity is equal to 1 then the k prime will be equal to 1 upon x and when this quantity will be equal to 1 this quantity will be equal to 1 if the i naught upon i is equal to 10 that is when i naught upon i is equal to 10 then log of i naught upon i it will be equal to 1 because log 10 is equal to 1 this means that i will be equal to 1 upon 10 into i naught okay i will be equal to 1 upon 10 into i naught and let uh, this equation is number 9 i think and now we can define or uh, this uh, k prime now the k prime will be defined as that k prime is the reciprocal of that thickness of the absorbing medium after passing through which the intensity of the radiation reduces or decreases to the one tenth of its original value okay so its definition is that what is k prime so absorptivity or extinction coefficient extinction coefficient or absorptivity is the reciprocal of is the reciprocal of that thickness of the medium that thickness of the medium after traveling through which or after passing through which after passing through which the intensity of radiations intensity of radiations decreases to one tenth one tenth of its original value okay so in this way we can define this k prime which is extinction or the extinction coefficient or the absorptivity of the absorbing medium understood so this is all about the mathematical expression for the lambert's law and i hope that you have understood and you have enjoyed my video and uh, if you have enjoyed my video then please uh, like and share my videos and subscribe my channel and in my next video i am going to uh, discuss beer's law so keep watching my videos. Thank you very much.